Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Fraser, and in this video I'll be showing you how to run a standard plain old Java inside of Android Studio. So I've got Android Studio launched here. I'm running version 3.6.3, but future versions should work too. First I'm going to create myself a project. So I'm going to say Start Android Studio Project. And I'm going to pick a no activity here. It doesn't really matter what you pick. Um, I'm going to call this one Plain Old Java, and it's going to be in a place that I'm okay with. I think that's fine. And it's going to be ca.test plain old Java. I could rename my package if I wanted to. Let's do that now. I'm going to say, for example, cmpt101 and assignment1, or whatever you're doing. And it's going to be Java. Looks good. Doesn't really matter what SDK I pick. I do need to have my Android Studio all set up, um, but it doesn't really matter about the, what I set up there. Okay, so let me make this so it fits in my screen here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to create a new module. So I'm going to go up here to File. So we can look at here. My normal application would be in here, but I don't want App. I do not want that. So I say File, New, and then a new module. So it's like New Module. On the right hand side, I'll scroll down here and I'm looking for Java, and in, in fact, it's Java or Kotlin Library. I'll say Next. I'll give it a name. I'm going to just call it Plain Old Java here, and we can see that it's going to give me the package name, what I had before, with plain old Java as part of the package. Right, let's give ourselves a class name, and sure, my class is fine. Click Finish, it will then generate me here. So I'm going to roll up app, and expand plain old Java, and now it looks like a much simpler build system. That's good. Let's open that my class, and it looks pretty good. I'm going to give it a main, so that's going to be public, public, static void main accepting an array of strings called args the usual style and I'll do s out hit enter and that'll autocomplete to this hello java world from android studio okay so now I've built this that's now it's sitting here um, I want to be able to run it now there's a couple ways to do it the easiest way is actually to just right click on the class name on the left, and I'm going to say run. Run my class. And this will build my config run configurations for me. So it goes through a bit of a process. It runs Gradle here, and it's got all the output here of what's going on. The big thing is down here. Hello, Java world from Android Studio. That's what I really want. That's the output I generated. Um, so I might want to put a few, like, Print out a bunch of lines of stars just so it's easy to find in my output. The rest of that was just Gradle output. But that's okay, I at least got it running. Um, now, this is just a standard Java project that I can work inside of. So, for example, I can create myself a new package. So, right click on my package, new package, and this is going to be model, for example. And inside my model, I'm going to create a new Java class. So, I right clicked it, new Java class. Let's call it car, and everything else defaults is fine. Inside the car, I'm going to create, each car is going to have a private um, string model. And I'm going to Alt Insert to autocomplete, give me a constructor, hit Enter, and it autocompletes me a constructor. Again, Alt Insert to autocomplete and auto generate code. And I'm going to do getters and setters, why not? And I will select my one property. And so now I've got a car class. Let's go back into my uh, my class here, and I'm going to create one. Car, car, let's go my car, equals new car. And my constructor, I need to put in a parameter, so let's call it I drive a some epic thing. Oops, there we go. And let's s out my car dot get model. Just to show that we can interact with things in the usual Java way. I can then run, so down here I can click on my run button and rerun this, and it will rerun after recompiling it. Looks good. I'm going to show you what would happen if I put in a compile time error, so I got rid of a semicolon. If I click run, it's now going to say failed, expected a semicolon, and I can click on that, it'll take me to the right spot, and so forth. I can start my sort of debugging here. If I go up hard enough, it'll tell me all about the failure. Uh, the one last thing I wanted to show is what it actually looks like in the run configuration. So if I go to run and then select edit configurations, 
the thing that it has done for me when I right clicked on my class and said run is under application it created me a my class uh, thing that I can execute. Uh, it filled in the uh, class name and it filled in the, the module for me already. So this use, oops, for me use class path of module was what got selected. So that's the important thing about how this is all running. I don't need to worry about that if I just right clicked on it and said run. And there we have some basic plain old Java running inside Android Studio. Thank you for watching.